I wish you could take off the shelmets, actually. Like, could you imagine taking off a shelmet midair? And then... And then throwing it and shell jumping off of it? Sorry, you gotta get coins. Right? That would be fucking sick. That'd be a dope-ass move. So here's what I want to do. Boom. You strive for ar awkward sarcasm? Uh, Ursula's amazing. Back to 69. Uh, when's the next Among Us lobby? I don't know. I just want to get like, I want to get like pretty fresh and flow GTA crew, but not in character, just like normal games. I think it'd be really nice too, because like we all play together all the time, but we don't really know each other. Ursula, yeah, Ursula would be great. Who else should we get? So there's five. Oh yeah, Rocky Top. Yeah, Malcolm, Tim. Boom. Oh yeah, I already said pretty fresh. He's probably the one I want to get on there the most because I'd, I'd say he's the one that like I've stayed in more character with all the time talking to. That's Barry. Uh, I don't want to get penetrated by this. That was a mistake. Erotic. Oh, wow. I wonder if there's like a mechanic you could use where spinning those so they don't get penetrated is useful. I wonder if you could build a level around that. Oh no.
Most just took the long dick of Bowser right there, chat. Sprite limits, maybe? Yeah, I mean, I don't know enough about... That's for someone much smarter than me to figure out. Oh, I fucked that up. Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> the key to Mario is just fixing your own mistakes. You know what I mean? That's the key to the whole game. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna dive and get a free hit. There we go. Yeah, that was not that was not my best move. All right, we're finally over the 69 hump. I feel like we've been on 69 for like 12 levels. It was a good time though. I mean, I will say the 69 streak was a good time. I'm just gonna wait right here and I'm just gonna spam fireballs at you. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Kinda wish I would have done that now. Dude, I hate those big Berthas, yeah. 1475, but YouTube hasn't reached 700 yet. So, so? I mean... It takes about twice as long to edit them as it does to film them. So by that metric... Kind of crushing it. Am I supposed to kill this guy? Am I supposed to kill the Bowser? I, there's not a way for me to kill the bully, though. I did that on purpose. Why did I do that? Oh, I fucked that up. How do I kill this thing? There we go. You just look at the fucking swamp right there. All right, we're done. 72, baby. Furry suit Bowser is so OP. 10 out of 10 level, great level, incredible. This is an interesting way to go about things. I mean, I love I love Furry Suit Bowser. I just wish he was like, I wish you could attack him all the time. He's the worst part about 3D World, Furry Suit Bowser. That was the unique Boom Boom Challenge. Uh, this hat is also why the propeller hat sucks. Like it's literally a better propeller hat.
I got not lucky there, but I'd be lying if I said that's exactly how I thought that was going to go down. Driving on spikes like that is bad for the tires. Is it though? Uh, Nick Sandsor, they're metal tires, I'm pretty sure. It's totally okay. Yeah, they're run flats. Nothing bad's gonna happen to those fucking tires. Mm, don't kill me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take more. Oh, I almost fucked that up. We're good, though. We're good. If they puncture just a pair and sand it flat. Yeah, duh. Is that worth a one up? Probably. Probably. How did I get my name again? Name Grand Pooh Bear? Um, well, it's it's kind of a long story, actually. Um, I got it back when I was... Ooh, a, uh, a motorcycle racer. And my bike, this is why I had to quit. A bear ran onto the track before, like, before I, uh, race one day. Grand Prix. And he pooped. Nobody caught it, and my bike ran into the poop. And I was done. Just, I mean, just skidded all over the place. And after that, they just called me the Grand Prix Bear, because it happened in the, in the Grand Prix. And this is my life now. Thank you for letting me share that incredibly embarrassing emotional story about a passion that I've lost. Jeez, thanks for letting me rehash that. Is that how I lost my legs? No, you lose your legs once you sign the Twitch partner contract. They cut off your legs, slap you onto a chair, and then force you to make content all day, every day. So that's just part of that. Oh, come on! Name of the bear? Wild? He was a wild bear. Does this sound like something Bezos would do for money? The Twitch chair, the least comfortable chair to sit in? I think anytime you just have the same chair for like four or five years, maybe they get really uncomfortable. Because this chair used to be like so comfortable. I used to love it so much. And now I'm like, should I get a Herman Miller? And then there's the other part of me that's like, why would you buy a new chair when there's 40 chair companies that are willing to give you one? As long as you pretend that theirs is the best. And then I'm like, because of my neck and my back, my bussy, hey my. Nick Flair would have ran that bear out of the track. Ugh. Big jump. Isn't you advertising them on stream for years worth more than a free $300 chair? Yeah, but like, that's not, that's not exactly how it works. You know what I mean? Like, not every company wants to make long-term relationships with people and, you know, these partnerships, because that's different. You know what I mean? Than just giving them some product and being like... I had to think about that for a second. I was like, how am I gonna do this? Out of all the origin stories, that one was the laziest and you liked it? I loved I loved this chair when I got it, but this last like year for whatever reason, like it's just like it's literally like the butt has got uncomfortable. 
Like, I've worn out the padding in my butt. Okay. I didn't realize you were going to hit me with a spring. Getting thicker every day. Get a bigger butt. This is fine. I'm sure of it. This is fine. Um, absolute fine. No problems. We're done with the level now. Six seconds left. We are done with the level. It was fine. Butt implants imminent? Are butt implants like becoming a real big thing? I'm not up to date with the plastic surgery trends. I like the Logitech Herman Miller one, but I don't want to have Logitech's logo. Not because I don't like them or anything, but... Yeah. You can't get this lap dance here for free. Wait, butt implants are the most dangerous of plastic surgeries? Wait, why? And what type of danger are we talking? Like, it's like a danger of me pushing up on it at the club? Or like the danger of like... Where am I going? Did I just soft lock myself? The danger of getting a lot of like, you put a hundred plus pounds of weight on it each day. I go, okay, that's a good point. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. Ah, uh, I'm annoyed I did that. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about the fact that you got to poop out of it. But what was the purpose of this? What is my motivation here? <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The main reason what plants have a high rate of going wrong is if people are going out of the country. What country do you live in? What country do you think I live in? I'm sure there's plenty of countries that are capable of putting in butt implants. I think, I would guess, because they're sitting on them. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's pretty fair. Probably just because they're sitting on them. Um, all right, now we're making moves. Now we're making moves. Usually when someone says the real reason something is happening, um, it's usually like a multitude of reasons. We have, a, we have a tendency, and I think a lot of this is because just like, internet brevity is the shit. Where do I go now? Um, we have a tendency to take complex problems and give them easy solutions and blame. But I think it's really, you know, just, you know, it makes a lot of sense just sitting on them. Here we go. The internet's the internet's a Sith because it only deals in absolutes. Yeah. Ooh, come back down here. We have enough time to do this. Proper link level gave me the Triforce at the end. The swivel arm resets are amazing. Yeah, no, there, I mean, there's, I've, I've seen fake boobs all across the world, so. There are other countries do it just fine. In person? No. But I think one day we'll have an anti-brevity culture. I mean, I think you're already seeing, like, what do I want to say? Not a backlash, but I don't think, like, What do I want to say? I don't think, like, Gen Z uses the internet like I do. You know what I mean? 
I think it's different. I think it'll always I think it'll always continue to be different. Like my son, the little iPad iPad babies that are growing up now in this pandemic. Like, I don't know, technology is gonna be so it's gonna be so interesting to see how he interacts with technology as he gets older. I'm fascinated by stuff like that. But I mean I just think it is like People always change and we, we, you know, people change and learn as a society. What am I doing here? People just change and learn as a society, so it's just gonna be different, you know what I mean? Like... I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna be in 10, 20, 30 years, but I definitely know, like, the relationship with the internet is significantly different for the people that grew up with it versus like someone in their 30s, 35, um, who, hmm, what am I doing here? You know, who didn't get Facebook till they were in college. It's just wild to think about. Like my, my father, my father types like this and signs text, love dad. I know he knows he doesn't have to do that because he gets texts from me and knows that they're for me and I don't sign, love your son. Whereas my, my son, my son knows how to call someone, hang up on them or flick them off the screen. You know what I mean? That's kind of wild. My older sister, she's 10 years older than me and our, and our relationships with the internet are so vastly different. There we go, that's what I needed. Yeah, like, I don't know, even just like, the crazy concept of, oh, that makes sense. Wait, what am I doing? I know what I'm doing. Well, your son tried to swipe a magazine? Uh... Like, like the whole, like, how do you, how do you take a picture versus how your kids take a picture? Like, if you're like, hey, pretend to take a picture, right? I go like this. My kid will never go like this. He'll go like this, you know? Or, hey, pretend to talk on the phone. I, I would do that, right? My kid would do that. And those are really weird things. Those are really, really simple, weird things to think about on like a micro, you know, like a micro level. But it actually is like kind of fucking significant. And wild, I don't know, just kind of wild. Ooh, give it to me. Pretending to roll up your car window? Oh yeah, I mean, fuck, I barely know how to do that. Like, I barely, I barely would have the, you know? Well, yeah, it's just like the rate that technology has changed. My father went through his whole life and technology really didn't change that much for him. You know what I mean? Like up until like 95 and then from 95 on, this whole world is just completely weird and new to him. You know what I mean? Like, people my age aren't gonna have just one career anymore. We're gonna have like four or five different careers because we have to because things, you know, things that we go to school for, things that we wanna do, like it just doesn't exist anymore, you know what I mean? Like, I, I just to show you like how fucking old I am, when I went into high school, I wanted to be a sports writer for newspapers, for newspapers. That was a legitimate thing. Newspapers. That's what I wanted to do. Really badly. It's not too late. For newspapers? It's not too late for me to write about sports. It is much too late for me to write about newspapers. I write, a, write for a newspaper. I know.
Yeah, I mean, you just get a degree in something that doesn't exist. I'm trying to think of like things le legit that people like in 2003 went to college for that just doesn't exist anymore like that. You know what I mean? The irony of it is that it like I probably went to school. I probably could have become a sports writer, a huge sports writer, just for the fact that if I would have started my own blog or something in 2003, like everyone who was first to market in that aspect, like just blew up. It's the same thing like people that were first to Twitch are still giant streamers today. I mean, I'm even lucky. I was I was late to Twitch and I still benefit from being part of the old, like I'm part of the old guard now. You know what I mean? DVD technician. People went to ITT Tech in 2000. Wait, it doesn't exist anymore? ITT Tech doesn't exist anymore? At least I didn't go to Own3D. No, bro. I, worse, I went to Hitbox. I streamed on this site called Hitbox. Oh my god. I fucked that up. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Woo! Collect call operators? Dude, we had a payphone in our high school. And if I needed to call someone, I had to use the payphone in my high school. I got my first cell phone at 18. I had a pager. Oh yeah. My first my first musical album I bought was Green Day's Dookie on cassette tape. Incredible timing. Kids think they get embarrassed now. There's no embarrassment like being on a three-way call and someone listening in and you just talk and smack about them and you just don't know that it's happening. This story is for entertainment purposes and not real life at all of my middle school dating scene, but... I mean, when you were talking to two girls and then for some reason they just decided to do a three-way call with you to see which one you actually like. And then you get caught playing your own dumb game. No, it's not a real story. No, that's not, I'm not, that's not a, something that happened to me. Of course not. You remember the Chloe the Psychic on TV that charges like five bucks a minute per reading? You know what? I get the entertainment value of like a Psychic and tarot cards and things like that. But like, there's people that like really rely, they had this, they had, uh, so we watch, we watch bad TV in my household. I like to turn my brain off once I'm done playing video games for eight hours a day. Having these deep conversations with chat. Can't stay got to go back to work. Good luck. Oh, you ever see someone getting scammed, but they're like, they're happy about it. So it's okay. No, I start taking off clothes when it's a thousand. Oh yeah. Will there be hot tub streams at 5,000 bits? Yeah. Oh, why is this so hard? Hey, you look good. I'm wearing Goodwill. I'm wearing Goodwill and uh, Ross jeans. Yes. All right, cool. Love you. Oh my God, get me out of that level. Get me out of that level. I love you. Yeah, I was saying that to you, YouTube. I was saying I love you to you. Not, definitely not to um, my wife. Don't forget to check.
Check me out streaming live every day on twitch.tv slash Graham Pooh Bear. And hit the subscribe button right here to see all my videos on YouTube. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram to get stream updates there as well. See you next time.